On April 11th, 2006, I downloaded the program Game Maker for the first time. I had recently been fixated on making short MS Paint animations, but I was looking for something a bit more sophisticated than Windows Movie Maker, and one of my uncles recommended Game Maker as an alternative. After downloading the program and not getting very far on my own, I went out in search of games that others had made with the program for inspiration, and happened upon GameMakerGames.com. After downloading a few games and trying them out, I was hooked, and I spent the next 10 years of my life with game maker development as essentially my only hobby. I entered competitions, game jams, and got into programming, for which I later went to college. I don't think it's an overstatement to say that this random day in 2006 largely shaped the trajectory of my life. The indie game scene is a lot different now than it was 17 years ago, but you can still see reverberations from some of those first games that I played, and some of the same creators are even still active in creating today. There are also a ton of games that nobody remembers where, like me, the creators were hobbyists, kids, teenagers, and after a while kind of just fell out of the scene. I think those people in games deserve to be remembered too. This is why I'm starting this series, Games from the Vault, to explore game maker games, influential and forgotten alike. I won't put any hard limits on the time period I'm covering, but the games will probably be largely from before 2012, when Game Maker Studio was released and the program started being marketed more towards professional indie developers than hobbyists and amateurs. I'll be covering games that I've discovered on GameMakerGames.com, and later the official Game Maker site, YoYoGames.com, which launched in 2007. I'll talk about big games, small games, ones by forgotten creators, and ones that we still talk about today. I'll be going as in-depth as I can on these, but it's not a review show. I'm not here to give the game a star rating, and if I wouldn't recommend a game, I probably won't even be covering it. This is more just a place to bring some thought, analysis, and attention to creations of decades past that might otherwise be forgotten. I'll be posting my first real video soon, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.